you guys have been out here a long time. How much do you look forward to getting back to more familiar surroundings, getting a you know game at AT and T, all that? So excited, so excited to get back. I'm Keith Russell in Oxnard, California. Dak can't wait to get back to DFW. The Cowboys have one final practice. That's tomorrow. Then they head home on Friday. Speaking of Dak Prescott, speaking today for the first time in over a week, he did not speak following preseason game number one. He has several new supporting cast members in terms of receivers and tight ends. His job to make the entire thing run smoothly. But he also needs guys other than Zeke to make plays on a regular basis. Regardless of who steps up on offense or defense, he makes it clear the 53 men who make this team are in it together. They will win together, lose together. But the key word that stands out, together. We've created a, a true like brotherhood around here. Uh, you, you can see this atmosphere. You see team meetings at night, just being around each other at practice. Uh, we all we all love to hang around each other. We all to see each, uh, like to see each other do well, and succeed, and individual drills and team drills. It's, it's the competition's been heated up. Um, each each side getting that each side back to back uh, every day. So uh, it's fun. But we we've, we've got this great camaraderie that we've got going on between every side of the ball, uh, and it's fun. First round pick, linebacker Leighton Van Der Esch leaves practice early today. No word on what that injury might be. And the injuries do not stop there. Cowboys receiver Tavon Austin also leaves practice early on. A little problem with his hamstring. Sorry, and what about center Travis Frederick? He watched the practice from the sideline after going to see a specialist today in L.A. for his neck and shoulder, only to find out that it's stinger-related issues. And in this case, time and rest should do the trick. I wanted to be sure that there was nothing else involved in it, so I went and saw one of the, the specialists down in L.A., one of the top guys, and uh, he assured me that it's stingers. How ready are you to fill in for Travis as long as you have to? Uh, you know, I'm just coming out here every day trying to work hard, and, you know, fortunately for me, you know, I'm around these great guys, you know, all pro centers, guards, you know, so I'm learning from the best. So whenever my number's called, you know, I try to be ready. The Cowboys return home. You know, they come home Friday, they play on Saturday, their next preseason game. They take on the Bengals right here on CBS 11. Kickoff, 6 o'clock on Saturday. Do not miss it. Do not miss this. And finally, our postcard from camp. The Pee Wee Blue Bears football team made their way on a two-hour trip to Cowboys camp. The team also came three years ago, but those kids have moved on. These 11- and 12-year-olds were out of their mind with, us, with excitement, knowing this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's a fantastic experience for them. They're, they're looking at their idols. Um, these are all young boys. They're 11 and 12 year old. And so this is a dream come true for them. And, uh, you know, we, we, they're having a fun. They're having a blast out there. What about your, your teammates? I mean, what, what's, what's some of the things that you guys have said to each other when you knew you were coming to see the Cowboys? It's super fun. Just keep working hard and we could possibly be here someday. A memory they'll never forget. I'm Keith Russell in Oxnard, California. More news on the way.